Oh, hi. I sometimes, when I'm selling these vintage and pop culture things online, uh, I go out and collect loose action figures. I, I like some of them and everything, but I have yet to come up with a good storage system for them because I always end up just digging through an entire bin, and I have like five of these, of these toys for something that's probably this big. Eventually, I got to come up with a better system, but instead, I'm going to check some of the other things that sold online today. First up is this little golden book with the Powerpuff Girls. And the artwork that's inside is one that's drawn specifically for the book. So it's got a lot of really unique sort of images and styles. I mean, look at this one here with the monster. That's fantastic. So got that going out today. Next is an item from my Vintage 45 collection. This 45 from the 1960s by Johnny Mathis, How to Handle a Woman. And it's from the movie Camelot? Yeah, from the movie Camelot. Wasn't Robert Goulet in that? I'm just guessing now. But, so Johnny Mathis 45. Also from the 45 collection, now this doesn't look as good because it doesn't have a cover, but I have a 45 of Peter Gabriel's Shock the Monkey from the 1980s on Geffen Records. And the B-side is a song called Soft Dog, which I'm not really familiar with. Here's a fun fact that I learned. Uh, you know that drum beat in Phil Collins in the air tonight, the doo 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 doo. P him and Peter Gabriel came up with that concept together in the studio. Uh, it was because they accidentally caught the drums in the talkback mic in the studio on the board and the compression on it made it sound like that and it gave them the idea to record the drums using that same kind of compression setup. And that's how they came up with that sound. I read that somewhere. Next up is something from some board games I have up here on the top shelf. This is a board game called Game of the States. It doesn't have a date on it, but I wanna say it's from the 1960s and it's from Milton Bradley. The game itself is just basically about the United States. It almost looks like something you would see on an old Disney cartoon where they'd be like, and then they traveled from this state to this state. Plus it's got the original instructions right there and the spinner is actually really cool looking too. As I was saying, I'm not sure when this game is from, but uh, it's, it's a pretty unique game. I've never really seen it before. And sticking with the theme, I have something from my puzzle collection over here. I have this Milton Bradley United States puzzle. And it's actually a double puzzle. Double puzzle? Two-sided puzzle. So one side has the United States and the other side, I can't remember. We put it together to make sure that the puzzle was complete, but I can't remember what the second side is. The funny thing is this box only shows you the one side of the puzzle. See right there, it says two maps. So. I can't remember what the second one is. We got this a while ago. People were just apparently into maps this week. And I got a few other little things like some paper ephemera and stuff like that that's gonna go off, but I really gotta try and find this loose figurine. It's figurine, action figure. Oh, here it is. I put it in a Ziploc bag, apparently. It's a fast food toy, Garfield skateboarding, which is something Garfield would never do, but occasionally they made him do stuff like this for the hip 80s. So here's Garfield on a skateboard. What I should do is find a better way to organize these, but uh, as I always say, that's future Tom's problem, so I'll fix that next time. Although right now I'm future Tom doing the same thing that previous Tom did. Ooh, it's like a back to the future timeline thing. Anyway, regardless, I'm not doing it. And those are the things that I sold online today.